Across the northern part of the uh, Northern Plains region, the weather continues to look fairly cold. Across much of the northern part of the U.S., fairly cold temperatures have settled in for December. Doesn't look like we're in for a record-setting November uh, December cold pattern, but it does look a little colder than average across the north. Uh, not so much in the southern U.S., where, if anything, it's a little warmer. Snowfall in the current pattern remains rather nominal. There are weather systems, but they're mostly generating not a lot of precipitation, as in moisture content, so we're only really seeing, for the most part, modest snowfalls. And generally speaking, I would characterize this pattern over the central part of the country as fairly dry. Let's take a look at the jet stream pattern. As it is setting up this weekend, uh, there is a bit of split flow over the west, and split flow is one thing that tends to kind of keep the weather from being completely extreme. So we do have a generally cold weather pattern. There is, in fact, some semblance of a pole Polar vortex disruption, but it's still mostly high latitude. But this is allowing some very cold air into and around the uh, Hudson Bay region, but fairly mild air coming up through eastern Canada. Split is over the uh, North Atlantic and over the West Coast. In the middle, they do kind of come together, but not enough for a truly stormy weather pattern. And it'll be like that as we go through the week. Generally speaking, fairly cold temperatures. There will be a few days right near the Canadian border midweek where it doesn't get very much above zero, but it uh, will that will gradually retreat back northward then into Canada before we get too, too, too terribly cold. And across the southern part of the country, kind of seasonal temperatures is the way the pattern is setting up. For the second week here, this will be December 17th through 11, a modest retreat of the cold air, but I think that will be fairly temporary. We're still kind of seeing this split flow pattern. It's shifting a little bit, and I think there will be some relatively mild weather in the plains mostly because we really haven't seen um, a deep snowpack developing, except for parts of North Dakota, and a lot of that melted away over Thanksgiving, or at least melted down. So there's not a lot of deep snowpack. There will be a cold surge into the Great Lakes and the northeastern states toward the middle of December, and that'll keep things cold in the northern plains. There's really no unusually warm weather anywhere. As far as precipitation goes, with the pattern the way it is, it's going to be the coasts, the edges of the continent, that get most precipitation. Rain, thunderstorms in the deep south, rain and snow in the northeast and back around the Hudson Bay and northern Great Lakes area. The Rocky Mountains look wet and California will be getting some decent moisture, kind of dry for the most part in the middle of the country. And that's kind of the way it looks for the second week of this forecast as well. If anything, the precip down in the west goes further south and the stuff in the east goes a little further north. The middle staying relatively cold and relatively dry.